Hello, this is Tim. We're going to be playing some Half-Life. This is the original, uh, not the uh, Half-Life Source one. And we're going to just go through the game. But um, first of all, we need to do... Well, it's this training room here, but it uh, used to be the Hazard Course. Here we go. Hello and welcome to the Black Mesa Hazard Course, where you will be trained in the use of a hazardous environment suit. I am your holographic assistant. Let's begin by stepping into your suit. You can see it suspended up ahead of you. If you see one of these buttons, press it, and I will appear to demonstrate certain moves. It's a nice little uh, tutorial. Here we go. His, his suit. Like going on? Yeah. What's wrong? Oh, okay, red. Moving around in your HEV suit can be slightly disorienting at first. Take a moment to familiarize yourself with basic movement, and soon it will fit you like a second skin. I will see you just around the corner. So we get basic movement here. practice in the hazard course is basic jumping. You will attempt to get over this set of pipes using only your run and jump commands. It helps to get a running start. Watch me and then try it yourself. All right, nice and easy. Here we go. One, two, three. You will now duck under the next set of obstacles. Please note that crouching will automatically shift your suit into stealth mode, minimizing movement noise. Here we go. One, two, three. Very good. I hardly noticed you. Move on to the next area. Now we will combine skills. You will need to jump, duck, and then jump again. This will prepare you for the next room where you will have to do both moves at the same time. All right, nice and easy. Here we get one, two, oops, get up there, we get three. You look prepared for the next to get into these pipes, you will have to signal your suit to make a duck jump. You'll want to stand right at the mouth of the pipe and continue to press forward. Then jump up, and while you're in midair, go into a crouch. It's tricky, but you'll find it comes in handy. You can always uh, quack, quack, makes it easier, here we go, quack, quack, here we go, duck jump, nice job, quack, walk directly into the ladder, look up, and continue moving forward, if you want to come back down, just move backward, easy, So this is for later over there. The next three jumps get harder each time, but they are quite possible. Don't be surprised if you miss the last one a time or two. If you can make all three in a continuous run, you are doing well. Hopefully I'm doing well, let's see. Great work. Now there is one more style of jumping you need to learn. Long ah, jumping yes, yeah. requires its own charging module, seen here. To activate your long jump, you will have to duck and move forward, and then launch into a jump. Once you're up on the platform, press the button and I will demonstrate the move. Here we go, let's go. There you go. Nice job. Or you could try something else. Land on these. 
and take no damage. You will find med kits like this one throughout the Black Mesa compound. To restore your health, walk up to a med kit and press your use key. Your health will recover gradually until you are at full health or the kit is depleted. Once the light goes out, a med kit cannot be reused. Yep, there we go, we don't need to use it then. To spin that bridge, walk up to the control wheel and press the use key. Nice and easy. Fantastic. Sometimes you'll need to rely on more than just your suit to get through a tight place. Try jumping this gap on your own. All right. What you really need to do is push that box down into the pit. Pushing is easy. Just move forward against the box and you can push it into position. If you can't push the obstacle out of your way, you might try pulling it. To pull a box, move up to it and press your use key. While holding down the use key to keep a grip on the box, move slowly backward. The box will come along with you. Finally, if nothing else works, you can try breaking the objects in your path. Make sure you picked up the crowbar, then simply smash your way through the debris. There you go, violence helps you. So, a break or crouch and break. Activate your suit flashlight for the next area. So they want us to go around there, but we can actually just jump across here. Great. Remember your flashlight drains power, so switch it off when you don't need it. There we go. Welcome to the Black Mesa target range, where you will receive training in firing a weapon, reloading, and firing the attached grenade launcher. Please pick up your weapon and move to the firing station. You'll have to hit every target in order to complete the course. But if you miss the first time, don't worry. It will come around again. Try to reload during pauses rather than waiting to run out of ammunition at a critical time. To fire your grenade launcher, use your alternate fire button. Certain targets will break only when hit by grenades. Commencing sequence in five. So break four, it, let's break it. Two, one. Here's number one. Number two, where was number here? That's right. Number three. I think number four is over here, isn't it? Yep. Over here somewhere, was it? Yep. I mean, behind the, the unbreakable wall, but we, that's where the grenade comes in. You have completed the Black Mesa target range. Please advance to the next area. Your ATV suit monitors blood oxygen levels, warning you when you need to find an air supply. As you swim through this course, your oxygen levels will begin to drop. At the midpoint, you will be given an opportunity to surface for air. Gotta say, this uh, course is a pretty great way of uh, getting you used to the various mechanics. It's sort of built into the board really well. You will see the blood oxygen indicator on your suit's heads up display returning to its previous level. Oops, got stuck there. This is the charging unit for your hazardous environment suit. When you are running low on power, Step up to any charger and press your use key. Your suit will recharge gradually until the charge you need is complete. Individual batteries may also be used to charge your suit. Alright, so we're charged. If you pass through fire or steam, you will see a heat damage icon lighting up. Directional indicators at the center of your display show you where damage is coming from. Here we go. 
steam pits. Gotta kind of say, back uh, when it came out, this this stuff was just so so awesome kid, compared to things we'd seen before. Please advance to the next area. Oh, nice. Here we go. That's right. This was on the side. This side. Almost finished. Lead a security guard into the next room. He will let you back into the transit system. You must approach a guard and press your use key. He will follow you until you face him and press the use key Kurt, again. I'll follow you. Access denied. There you go. Hey, just before we go in there, let's have a look, sir. We've got uh, vending machines if we want. And these guys, nothing really in here though. Time for the train. Last one. Press your use key to engage the train. Press your forward and backward keys to increase or decrease the speed of the train. Press your use key again to disengage from the train. There we go, we've learned lots of mechanics about the game. Awesome little course, not too long, just uh, teaches you so many, so many things. But um, congratulations on completing random. the Black Mesa Hazard course. You are now fully certified for use of the HEV Mark IV protective system. It's a bit random, but anyway, cool. Anyway, so that's that. Um, next time we'll be getting into the game. But uh, thanks for watching, and um, as I said, uh, next time we'll actually start the real game and um, probably on hard and play through with that. But yeah, thanks for watching. See you then. Right, bye.